When Steubenville Central won the Division V state championship last Friday, it was the second team in school history to earn the state title. The first was in 1971, and two of the players on that team contributed to this year's win. How? Here's our Mr. Bloomquist with more. In 1971, Dave Tuttle Sr. and Donald Thorne Jr. helped propel Catholic Central to the state championship. Well, in 1993, the two seniors were a little too old to suit up for their Crusaders, but their sons weren't. Senior Donald Thorne III and sophomore Dave Tuttle Jr. helped Catholic Central win another state title, one which is a little sweeter to the old veterans. This team was a phenomenal team. You know, they, they, they played with one thing that a lot of teams Central has, but they had a heart like that. And I was more proud of this team than our team, even though we went 10-0. So... <laughs> Definitely uh, watching my son play because it was a total team effort that the team had and each week a new player took a challenge and came up and met, met that challenge and uh, I was just really happy to be here. And since these guys played in and watched the championship game, I had to ask which was more nerve-wracking. Definitely watching though, hoping he didn't fumble. <laughs> <laughs> As Miller. for little Don and Dave, the they knew they had to win the championship Dave, game because they had to get the 71 champs off their backs. I heard a lot about, you know, how their team was so great and uh, how no team is only a couple teams scored on them. A couple times, I guess you could say how, like, uh, they, uh, who they played and when they played and uh, how bad, how many times they uh, blanked teams, so it was a lot. This year's team was one of the most exciting and talented in the state, going 12-2. and two. The 71 team went 10-0, and 0, and the most points they gave up in a game was eight. Now here's a picture of the Catholic Central Crusaders 1971 state champion football team. Now I had to ask the question of which team was better, which team would win if the 71 team and the 93 team lined up together. And let's just say the older guys were kind of modest with their answer. I think the game would probably be 0-0. Zero, zero. No, that's the easy way out. Oh, well, that's going to be the way <laughs> out. <laughs> and how about the younger guys' answer? Well, let's just say it was a little bit cocky. I think it would be real close like most of our games are, but I think we probably win. We pulled out in the end, fourth quarter. And finally, the best question of all. Being a linebacker, you see your dad busting through the middle, would you lay a stick on him? Uh, yeah, because when I was a younger kid, uh, he, was, he used to be my coach, and he put a stick on me when I was little, so I owe him one. <laughs> and you and your dad, Dave, would you lay him out? Yes, I, I'd try very hard. <laughs> Clothesline? Probably. <laughs> I'm David Bloomquist for News 9 Sports. Well, you can see all the heavy hits again Saturday morning at 8 o'clock only on WTOV 9. We showed you it once. It was so good. We're bringing it back for an encore performance, and I'm sure all the Crusader fans will be watching, as many people will, because it was such a good ball game. And you said it was one of the largest crowds. One of the largest crowds to ever attend Ohio Division Five championship mm -hmm. game, and they got their money's worth because they saw one of the best games ever. And you can see it again Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. Set the VCRs. Yep. All right. Thank you.